Welcome to ABSE. Be sure to hit that subscribe button now. Hua. Let us feed this beautiful metallic black jumping spider, shall we? Let's give it a small fly. Two, one, and bam! Oh my gosh, guys, did you see that? That was very unlike a jumping spider's takedowns. They will generally jump to catch the prey, but this one didn't. Now, we are going to be feeding my colony of pharaoh ants, scientifically known as Monomorium pharaonis. Pharaoh ants are pretty amazing. Alright, so this worker has come to this dead spider which I am feeding them. It's trying to pull it all on its own. Let me do a time lapse to see if this ant will carry this spider on its own. Not at all. It is still struggling regardless of the fact that a single ant can lift up to 25 times its own weight. Pretty damn surprising, right? This ant is in desperate need for help. Will this other worker ant come to help it? Hmm, I guess not. This ant is now actually sucking the bodily fluids of this dead spider. And then it is going to do a mouth-to-mouth -mouth food transfer called trophallaxis to feed the other fellow workers of its colony. And there comes a helping super major. Right there. Major workers are very useful because they have huge heads and a lot of muscle power. Alright, here comes a third worker and it sprints off. I think to tell the rest of the colony that there is some food nearby. Ants produce these biochemicals called pheromones which can help spread different messages to the rest of the colony. And this major worker is trying to move this dead spider or the prey item up on top of the soil so that it can carry it and bury it inside the soil to protect it from other hungry ants or other hungry predators waiting to steal the kill. Teamwork really helps. The two ants are now trying to carry this dead spider back to their nest. But will two workers strength be enough to carry it? Let's see. I think more ants are going to join in because I could see a worker which was sticking its antennae out of the soil trying to see what was happening. You see that? Alright, now this major worker is trying to rip off the leg of the spider. And now two new workers are coming to join this feeding frenzy. And the two of them sprint off to tell the rest of the colony that they need more firepower to help carry the spray. A new major comes to the feeding frenzy site. But now I think it is enough of the ant feeding. Let's focus on the rest. The next predator is this brown colored spider. I'm feeding it a pharaoh ant. Oh, did you see that? At the moment the ant dropped, the spider decided to go and start wrapping it up immediately. With each swipe of the spider's legs, hundreds of silk strands fly towards the ant and will make it incapable of movement. It's very funny to see this ant moving like a bucking bronco as the spider wraps it up in its very strong silk. Now the spider bites the ant at the back of its leg, injecting paralyzing venom into the ant's body which will make it even more immobile. 
Now the ants movement has restricted considerably. It is so funny how this ant is moving like a bucking bronco and trying to bite the spider. Look at it. Next feeding clip. These are venomless spider spiderlings belonging to the family Yodoboridae. Oh, they just scattered around. I guess the ant is too big for them to all consume. Few of them molted. I hope you guys enjoyed this amazing feeding video. I know the ant's takedown was the longest because it is collective and not individual. But anyway, be sure to like, comment, share and subscribe to the channel. Turn on all notifications so that you do not miss any upload which I make on Saturdays. This is KBSE signing out. Take care and goodbye.